Assalamu alaikum and hello to everyone to today's tutorial video about how to convert circuits in fluid sim from pneumatic to electrical circuit and then from electrical circuit to a ladder diagram and lastly from an electrical circuit to a digital or logic module circuit so this is the pneumatic circuit that we are going to work on which is extracted from the pneumatic textbook chapter 5.17 example 7 so basically this circuit is very simple in construction it has one push button and two limit switches this is the first limit switch and this is the second limit switch and what makes the circuit unique is the usage of a time delay valve and the function of this time delay valve is to maintain the piston in re extension for as long as this time valve is adjusted so let's say this time valve has been set to 5 seconds delay then the piston will stay here for 5 seconds only then retracts to its initial position and to activate this time valve of course we are using this limit switch 1S3 which is the second limit switch and the DCV is double pilot so you can imagine when we convert this to an electrical or electro-pneumatic system you're going to replace it by double solenoid and of course uh, every time we are thinking of converting a pneumatic circuit we should have in mind what is kept as it is after the conversion so this part will not be altered this part will be preserved even if we are going to change it to an electrical circuit uh, since we, we need to have a DCV, uh, we need to have our one-way flow control and also, of course, we need to have our cylinder. So, uh, the part that is going to be uh, changed is basically the control part, also the input signal part. So, these are going to be replaced by the electrical circuit. <coughs> So let us have some view of the instructions of the lab task. So using a single fluid sim file. So remind everyone to, to do the work in only a single file. Where three circuits are going to be constructed. Electrical, ladder diagram, logic module. In a single fluid sim file. Of course, for each of these circuits, uh, we need to have the pneumatic part. So, for electrical, we have one. For the logic module, we have one. For the ladder diagram, we have one. So, we end up with three pneumatic circuits, three cylinders, three DCVs, and also three one-way flow control valves. And of course, uh, since we have three circuits in one single file, we need to increase the drawing size area of the fluid sim file. And that uh, can be accessed from the file menu, drawing size. So I prefer personally to choose A0 as the platform to make the circuit since it provides us with a plenty of space and as you go on co constructing the circuit you're going to make multiple solenoids multiple relays so make sure that every time you are creating a new solenoid you give it a different label uh, do not label them all as 1Y1 or 1Y2 because this will make duplications and the system will prompt you for an error. The system will warn you 
for an error that there is duplicated uh, components in the file so for that uh, please make different labels for the switches as well as for the relays and the relay contacts and there is one requirement in this question that the limit switch 1s3 is required to be converted to or replaced by a read switch or magnetic switch so the limit switch which is uh, usually in electrical circuits shown as this we are required to replace it by a magnetic switch which has three terminals so we need to do this uh, type of replacement and only for 1s3 we are not required to do this for the other limit switch and one hint is given to us uh, to replace the time delay valve with its corresponding uh, time delay relay and I leave it to you whether to choose off delay relay or on delay relay so it depends on your design you can select either one so the fluid sim file should eventually look like the example shown here where we have uh, three circuits electrical ladder and logic module circuit with their corresponding pneumatic circuits so this belongs to this and this pneumatic circuit belongs to this and this pneumatic circuit belongs to this and note that uh, the relay here it is k1 where it is here k2 and also the solenoids 1y1 1y3 1y5 so different labels to avoid the warning that is usually given for a duplicate uh, components so i hope that this uh, presentation was helpful and uh, see you again